Hey guys, welcome to the next video on Scala tutorial for beginners. In this video, we will discuss about abstract classes in Scala. But before understanding what are abstract classes and how do we use them, first of all, let's discuss why do we use them and what is the requirement. So in the last video, I have shown you how to use inheritance in Scala. Now we have created three classes. One is a polygon class and other is the rectangle and the third class was the triangle class in which polygon class was our super class and the other two classes were our subclasses. Now if you see here in the last video we were able to instantiate our super class and we were able to call a method area from this super class but when you think once again what is the need of instantiating this super class because it's not doing any logical thing it's just printing the area which is the default area which is zero so somehow we want to restrict the instantiation of this super class right so one need is we want to restrict the instantiation of the super class now the second thing is for example i go to this rectangle method and i remove this override method for the area now this class is useless because it's not giving us the area of the rectangle which we want right now when we go to the polygon class once again and instantiate this class as we have done here which is var rect is equal to new rectangle and width and height we have given in the constructor input right now when we uh, use this method which is print area it's going to call the area method from this rect instance but we have already removed this area method so this area will be called from this super class which is going to give us zero so let's run the code and you can see in the result we get 0, 0.0 and that's also not logical because if somebody is using your uh, rectangle class as a package and he gives uh, these two values 55 and 20 for example and he gets the result 0, 0.0 which is not logical so we want to somehow guarantee the implementation of this area method inside this rectangle class right so there are two requirements one is that we don't want this super class to be instantiated and the other requirement is we want somehow that this area method should be implemented or must be implemented in every case and that's where the abstract classes comes in so first of all, what are abstract classes? So an abstract class is a class which cannot be instantiated. An abstract class is used by creating an inheriting subclass that can be instantiated, right? So you cannot directly instantiate the abstract class. You need to create a subclass out of your superclass and then using subclass, you can instantiate that subclass now an abstract class does few things for inheriting subclasses first of all it defines the method which can be used by the inheriting subclasses now the next is an abstract class may or may not contain an abstract method and what is an abstract method the method which doesn't have any body is called an abstract method but if the class has at least one abstract method then the class must be declared abstract now when a class contains an abstract method it must be implemented in the subclasses the next point is an abstract class provides a common interface which allows the subclass to be interchanged with all the other subclasses which is inheritance basically so let's see how we can define our abstract class and let's see how we can use an abstract class so in order to define an abstract class you just need to add a keyword called abstract in front of your class and as soon as you add this abstract keyword 
you can see here we get an error and this error says that polygon is a abstract class and it cannot be instantiated so one problem is solved for us so this polygon class when it's declared abstract it cannot be instantiated now the second problem was we have to make sure that this area method is implemented so this can be solved when we define an abstract method inside our abstract class so how to define an abstract method you can define an abstract method by not providing the body for this abstract method like this so i haven't provided any body to this method and this means that this is an abstract method and now when we are, when i remove this uh, area method from the subclass which is rectangle you can see it's giving us this error so now the compiler will complain and it says class rectangle needs to be abstract since method area in class polygon of type double is not defined so this abstract method makes sure that we must implement the area method inside the subclasses so this is how you can use abstract classes in scala i hope you've enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now